Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on some tunnels and we also improved the look and feel of this storage area. So far, these diamond blocks and the quartz have made this area much more spacious in my view. And yeah, it's a lot more fun just to be in here all the time. So yeah, it's been great. Anyways, today guys, what we're going to do is we're going to do something which I've hinted at for a very long time and which many of you guys seem to be rather excited about. And that is we're going to be making a drone factory. So these guys right here, these drones, are gonna make a factory that makes these guys, or actually something similar to those guys, not exactly those guys. Um, but we're gonna have a drone factory here at Concorp, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking we need this to be over here in this section. So right next to where we put the Jellyland area and the dog houses, I think in this section back here would be an ideal spot to put this thing. Now it's gonna be a pretty big building, actually going to be one of the biggest buildings here at Concorp, believe it or not. Um, and yeah, I'm, I want to probably take this, we're going to turn this off for right now because this will affect the viewing of this thing. So basically what we need to do first is we need to get rid of some of this right here and we need to extend the pathway straight ahead here because this is going to go directly into the drone factory uh, in this area. Uh, and we're also going to need to clear out some land for sure here. Have to figure out exactly how big we're going to make this here. But yeah, I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to put the drone factory here today. Um, so let me go and grab some pathway materials. So some dead fire coral, some uh, light gray concrete powder, some leaves, some bricks, some, some stone brick stairs, stuff like that. And we'll extend this pathway down there. And we'll also start to clear a little bit of area of all this bamboo because a lot of this stuff... This is going to have to go. We're going to clear a path here for the drone factory. All right, guys. Pathway is now complete. And yeah, this is what we have so far. So just a straight up pathway all the way to where the mountain starts, basically. And this block right here, this is actually going to be the center of the build of the drone hangar we're going to build. Um, so yeah, it's going to start here and it's going to come all the way out to a corner of the building right here so yeah that's just half the building you can see another corner over there right next to the river actually so we're using a lot of space uh, that we have in this flat area here for this structure and then the building is also going to come the other way the same amount of blocks so from here it's going to come all the way over to this point right here and it's going to actually butt up against the dog houses a little bit but that's fine uh, and then it's going to go up to that point up there you can maybe see that wood block right there um, so it's going to be kind of a big structure, kind of a huge structure actually, um, but should be worth it in the end. I've got some materials actually that I have collected. Going to need more stuff like more gray concrete and such. Going to need to smelt up this stone in the super smelter. Uh, we also got some lanterns, some granite, some iron bars, some walls, some vex magic, stuff like that. Uh, so those are the materials we're going to be using here. Um, but right now I actually need to grab this and we need to head to the super smelter. Do a little bit of smelting here. We need to turn all this regular stone into smooth stone. Uh, so we are on, ready for use, good. Just go ahead and we will toss some stone right in here. There we go. Beautiful, all right. So we'll let this stuff smelt up. And yeah, once that's done, we gotta make some concrete and stuff. Um, there we go, turned on. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and just wait here for this stuff to smelt up. Shouldn't take too terribly long, and then we'll get the rest of the materials and start to build that thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we've now started on the drone hangar itself. So you can see here, we smelted up that stone in the super smelter to make some smooth stone, which is what we got here. And this smooth stone now makes up two retracting doors. So one door here can retract horizontally in that way. One can retract horizontally in this way. And the entrance to the hangar itself will be right here. So it's going to be five blocks wide right here. Behind here, we've just basically cleared out a bunch of bamboo. There was so much bamboo that we actually filled up an entire shulker box back here. And the rest of it I just left to be uh, despawn because, yeah, it's bamboo. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, we also have over here, besides these retracting doors, we have some, like, structures that are going to be supporting the roof. Uh, so we got some light gray concrete. We got some... Uh, granite and polished granite and then the same thing on the opposite side over here and so the plan is 
that the walls are going to be mostly light gray. So if I get back here, uh, these walls here are going to come out like this. So if I go up like this to about here or so, that's about how high the wall is going to be. And then we're just going to, you know, draw this down like so. Like this. Have to come down here. Like this. And this is going to go all the way over to this point. Which is the very corner block. And we'll also probably want to get that down like so. And then this is going to come up to the same height as that corner right there. And then this entire wall here will be light gray concrete. So obviously for this wall, we're going to need a lot of light gray concrete. And that is especially true because we're actually going to need even more light gray concrete for the other side. And so let me just finish up a little bit on this side. Uh, so the other side will also be made out of this same material. So if we just fly on over here, that means that essentially this bit here is going to come over like this and then just continue over in that manner all the way to where that wood block is up there, except, you know, it's not going to go up that high, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, that's going to be this side as well. So light gray concrete on both sides there. And then for the back side, we're probably going to use smooth stone and just come out like this, I think, with smooth stone in a straight line across, just like this, uh, to form the back side. So that will be the back side there. So that will give us all four sides up, which is sort of the next thing we need to do, try and get all these sides up. Then for the roof, the roof is going to be sort of a curved roof. So it's going to go from here and then have like a shallow curve up to a peak at the middle and then another shallow curve down to the side. Uh, so, yeah, let me go ahead and get started on these. And once I do that, next time we come back, you'll probably see a similarity to another build you saw earlier this season. All right, guys, so we got ourselves a drone hanger taking shape now. This is what it's looking like. So we have now much more of a hanger-like feel to it. We got the roof on, and we got the front facade here with the Vex Magic in the front. And I think it's looking pretty good. We also got the sides and the back done. So if we just fly on up here, you can see what it's looking like from above. So yeah, pretty big building, pretty big building. Got the gray concrete on the side, or light gray concrete on the side. Terracotta roof, cyan terracotta roof. And then the other side, of course, also the light gray uh, concrete right there. Uh, so you might recognize this sort of design scheme for a hangar, and that is because this is the same design scheme that Scar used uh, for the Area 77 hangars. Uh, so what I did is I just basically industrialized it. So we're using some different blocks here. So we're using like granite instead of sandstone, for example. And yeah, we're also using some light gray concrete on the side just to give it a little more of an industrial feel. We also put some Vex Magic here instead of the green that Scar used in his build. Uh, and we're also going to add a little bit of bling. So we're actually going to get in front here. And I think this should be pretty cool if we come up here. And let's see if we can do this here. Uh, let's see. So right here is where it starts. So right here is where we'll go. So we're actually going to dig out this whole area here. And instead of cyan terracotta forming the the back part of where this is uh, instead what we're going to do is we're going to get out some diamond blocks because why not <laughs> i would like to have a little bit of bling shining through here in this section and also i think yeah, that looks really nice. I think what we can do is we can sort of inset the diamond blocks so that they can be seen through a grate. So we're going to get a bunch of iron bars out, and then we're going to tower up right here, all the way up to this portion of the world, and then we'll just do something like this. And this should allow us to put these diamond blocks behind, behind bars, I guess behind iron bars, and this should give a nice effect here. Let's just see how this looks. Oh, that's the wrong one. This is the right one. There we go. Let's pick up all these scaffolding blocks. Let's see how this looks. I think this should look pretty cool. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. It's like it's almost like a um, like a glow of some type from behind. I like that a lot, actually. Let's get up into the sky and see what that looks like. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, that adds a lot, actually. N adds a nice little highlight where previously it was just sort of gray with the, the cyan terracotta. So we'll do that on this side as well. 
real quick here. So let's just dig all this out right here. And let's see, we're going to put this down at this point. And let's see, we'll need to get rid of this as well. Just like that. Very good. And I think we'll probably cover up this top part with gray carpet. So you won't be able to see the diamond blocks from above. I think that would be a good thing to do. So cover this all up in gray carpet. We also need to cover the roof in gray carpet. This in probably uh, light gray carpet. Uh, this this light gray concrete and light gray carpet. And the bottom is already actually... It's already covered with some uh, slabs. Some polished andesite... Or polished granite and uh, granite slabs. So we're good there. Uh, let's go right here and we'll do this other part I feel like this just gives it like that little bit of extra character a little bit of extra pizzazz to it alright and then iron bars all the way down there we go beautiful okay get rid of this and let's see there's our dogs in there just chilling <laughs> uh, yeah let's see if we can get further away yeah that looks sweet that looks sweet. It highlights the Vex Magic really nicely with sort of a lighter blue on the side. Cool. Okay, so uh, next thing we need to do, we need to add the carpet up there, obviously. That's going to be a big task, but we got a wool farm uh, over there, which looks like... Yeah, I can see from here the lights are on, so I need to add more uh, shears in there. But that should give us all the wool we need to make all the carpets for the roof. And then on the inside here, I haven't actually done anything on the inside here yet. Uh, so we need to clear this out. We need to get rid of all this dirt here so all this stuff needs to go and I'm probably gonna use I'm thinking probably gray concrete powder for the floor that's usually a nice color for the floor so we'll probably go with that so those are the two things we need to do next so let's go ahead and get started all right guys more progress has been made if we get on up to the top here you can see we got the entire top roof here now spawn proof so we got carpets down gray carpets down uh, on the gray and then light gray carpets down on the light gray. We also put down half slabs on the side uh, of these granite pillars. So yeah, those are now spawn proof as well. Obviously this is half slabs and then there are carpets now over the diamond blocks and some of the cyan here as well. So that's looking nice. Although I think these lights would have prevented mobs from spawning here anyway. So yeah, that wouldn't really have mattered if we hadn't put anything here. But I think it looks better without the diamond blocks showing on the top. Uh, and just showing through on the uh, the side in the front here. Um, so, yeah, that's that. We also got the inside started. So we got the big hill taken out right here. A lot of dirt and a lot of stone taken out here. But we eventually got it. And we put down some uh, gray concrete powder on the floor. Now, I do not want too many torches on the floor here. Maybe we'll have some torches up on the ceiling and stuff. To, like, illuminate that a little bit. Uh, similar to what we did over here on this side. Um, but yeah, I don't want too many torches on the floor, so we'll probably go with like sea lanterns and gray carpet. Uh, so we'll probably have something like that here and there around this area just to light up the bottom part of this. Uh, and I'm thinking the next steps, first of all, I want to do something on the outside first. Uh, like I'm thinking maybe like a little like checkpoint system because, you know, this is the drone hangar, right? So we need some type of like checkpoint system or some type of like structure to like, I, I, I guess like monitor entry and exit into the hangar, I guess is what we want to do. So we'll probably have like some type of checkpoint system here. Uh, and then maybe we could have like a little tripwire system here that like detects when somebody enters. Let's see if I have actually, do I have tripwire hooks? Oh, I do, sweet, yeah. So like if we have tripwire hooks like this, think that could be a cool look and then we could maybe have like a little chime play like let's say I had a note block here and let's say what if we had something like this what if we had like a dust and then maybe a note block here like that and then on this side we can have a similar thing except maybe a different note so let's say this and like that and then we just need some string which let's go and grab a piece of string here and actually let's sleep through the night real quick we'll go to the apartments this is what I basically do when I sleep through the night I just jump over here to the apartments usually I make it in there but 
this time I didn't, but then, yeah, we got all the villagers in here asleep, so I just sleep with them. <laughs> there's more, there's stragglers coming in at the last minute. Jeez, these guys are late night partiers or something. Who is this? Zack. Late night partying farmer right there. Jeez. Oh, he's upset. He's upset now. <laughs> Let's leave. Let's go and grab some string. This should be all we need. So, mob drops. Here we go. String. There we go. Boost down here. And we'll see if this detects when, whoop, when people are coming in. Should be. Should work just fine. So, yeah, let's just jump over this for now. So, we're coming in. Yeah, just a little notification when you walk in. That's nice. I like it. Okay, cool. So, we need more tripwire hooks. Probably make those go all the way up to the top here. And then, yeah, like a little checkpoint here. Also, on the outside, we need to add some stuff around here. So, I'm thinking like leaves around here. And then we have this big wall here, which I think needs something as well. So I'm thinking we might put some type of design on the side here of some type. Maybe we could have, you know, the granite come across the top and then maybe some walls that would support that granite structure on the side here. That could look potentially pretty cool. And then maybe more leaves on the bottom, possibly. Yeah, we'll see. But uh, yeah, we need to add some more decoration to the outside and yeah, add some more small little details like this uh, to the outside as well. So give me a sec here. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got the outside of this hangar now mostly complete, I think, so let's take a look. So first of all, we have a little checkpoint system right here. We got the Concorp signs up, we got the redstone torches here, we also have a little bit of a glass pane there, which provides just a, like a little extra security. This thing doesn't really do anything, it's just uh, fence gates, by the way, which are turned uh, yeah, into the right way to make like a little like turnstile type thing. Uh, so that's what this is supposed to be, like a little turnstile that keeps track of who comes in and out right here. So that's just, yeah, a little front gate type thing. Uh, then we have a fence that goes all the way around the outside. We also put down some leaves in various spots. So you can see on this side and on this side. And then another fence that goes down there, sort of just to keep out, you know, any unwanted visitors. Uh, not really meant to be like a serious, you know, security fence. Although I guess we could, like, build this up quite a bit if we really wanted to like we could build it up to too high so that you know you couldn't just you know jump over it but nah I think it's fine just one high fence uh, on the sides over here we actually got a nice system over here uh, so yeah we got a, like some andesite walls in here we got some iron bars in here and if we get in here uh, you can see we got some sea lanterns down here for some hidden lighting so yeah this is like nice and lit up on the on the sides at night we also did the same thing for the back, add a little bit of detail to the back, so we got these andesite walls coming down, and you know what, we should probably put down back here some leaves if we can. I think I put them in with the bamboo. Yeah, right here. So let's just do this real quick. Uh, we'll just put this down like so, have this come out and come up like this, and go around the wall where we can. Just like this, there we go. Have this come up here. Move this back. Come up like this, come up like this. Go up and around this thing. Make sure and move torches there, and that should be pretty good. Yeah, that should be good, I think. Cool. And, you know, we could have it, you know, come up here a little bit or something. Like, there's a little little bits that sort of stick out and whatnot. So, yeah, that can work like that as well. And maybe this comes out here and goes up like that. Perfect. Okay. That'll work. So, let's go ahead and put this back down. Get all of our leaves back in. There we go. And then just to show you on the opposite side, over here, we've already done this as well. So, we got our... Hidden lighting here, and then of course we have the andesite walls and the iron bars making up this side as well. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot better this way. We also have the granite up top, uh, which sort of caps off the whole wall thing here. So it's much better than just the, the blank uh, light gray concrete wall, I think. Uh, so, let's just jump across these doghouses here. 
that is the outside now done. You can see we obviously also put down a bunch more tripwire hooks here. So those go all the way up now. And we also, inside of here, got rid of all the torches and put down a bunch of sea lanterns underneath of this carpet. Now this might have to change depending on what we put on the walls. Uh, but that is the next step actually. Go ahead and build up the walls. I think we're going to put down some acacia logs as sort of like supporting structures in various spots. So like for instance in these corners here would probably be one spot we want to do for sure for these acacia logs. And we'll run these you know all the way up to the, to the top. Same thing on the other corners as well. And then we'll have to figure out like exactly where on the sides here we're going to put these things. Uh, so we'll have yeah acacia logs going up and then acacia logs going over and that will serve as like a supporting structure for some bigger stuff which we're going to put in the middle here and on the sides. So let me get working on the sides of this thing and I'll be right back. The inside of the factory is now under construction. So you can see here we've added a couple of things so far. First of all, we have this big bank of crafting tables because obviously if you're crafting up drones, you're going to need some crafting tables to make some materials. Uh, we also have the acacia logs we've placed down on the side. This really frames in the whole factory nicely, I think, and also provides support both for the roof and also this structure of iron bars we got here. Um, so, yeah, that works pretty well. These iron bars, I'm sort of thinking as like chains which can move drones like from one side of the factory to the other. That's sort of what I'm thinking of those as, and you'll see why in a minute once we start to actually uh, make the, the drones and like bring these iron bars down a little bit. Um, so yeah, should be pretty cool. Um, so that's that. And the idea is with these chains, like basically we have the drones being constructed as they go toward the middle. And then this middle chain right here, they bring the drone over this way and they drop the drone here and it flies away. Uh, that's how we basically deploy drones here at Concorp. At least that's the lore I'm going with. Um, right. So yeah, next thing we need to talk about is the walls. You can see here, I have a nice little wall here and the way I'm thinking of this wall is I'm thinking of this as like shelving. So these iron, these iron trapdoors is like shelving. So this houses the materials that go into the drone. So like we have Vex Magic here. We got some polished andesite here. We have a bunch of other materials that we've used in drones that we're going to put on the side walls here and there and there. So like for instance, right here, we could put something in here like this. And then we'll put like birch wood because we used birch wood during the Civil War to make drones out of birch and jungle log uh, wings, basically. And we have this up here, and it would just keep going up like that. Uh, and these end rods, I'm sort of thinking as elevators. So basically, the idea with these end rods is that we can call these, and they can take one of the shelves and bring it down so we can use the materials for construction of the drones. Uh, so like this polished andesite here is being brought down from there. And then we can use this once it gets down to the bottom to construct some of the drones. So that's sort of the idea with these end rods. And so like over here, for instance, we would have probably end rods on the side like this. This guy's just hanging out over here. And so, yeah, basically the idea would be that these end rods, which are going to go all the way up to the, the ceiling, would then be able to like take one of these shelves and then bring it down to the floor like this and then this would be like where it would be so it would like swing it out and then bring it down that's sort of the idea so yeah that's that's kind of a cool idea I'd like to have maybe instead of just like having one thing that you have to imagine like how it would work it would be cool to have maybe like one or two actual like um, block conveyors in one of these walls. So maybe like here we could put like an actual block conveyor that actually moves blocks. Like maybe we could have a button here that you could press and then that activates a piston which pushes it this way. Then another piston here that pushes it up. Another piston there which pushes it over and then another one here that pushes it back down. That could be pretty cool. So I might add some of that and obviously we want to have like piles of materials around here too. So maybe like redstone blocks and pistons and stuff. Let me work on this a little bit more, and next time we see this place, it should be basically done. Alright guys, so I'm very happy to say the drone hangar slash drone factory is now complete. So let's go in and take a look at what it's looking like on the inside, and all the new stuff we've added. So, 
yeah, if we take a look around here, obviously a lot has changed. So let's start with some of the basic stuff that's changed. So obviously the shelves on the wall with these little elevators here of the end rods, they have had more stuff added. So we got, you know, a bunch of obsidian for the obsidian drones. We got some birch. We got some andesite vex magic. Some andesite coming down here. We got some pistons. We got some TNT. All the components you need to build a drone are on the side walls. We even got some dispensers up there. We got some observers here. Some sticky pistons here. Obviously a TNT, end rods. And then over here is a lot of the material for the, the older drones and the smaller drones. So andesite, andesite slabs, uh, iron trapdoors, birch. Uh, so yeah, you can see some of that here. And obviously a little bit more TNT. Um... Right, so uh, the whole premise of this thing is that we build drones here, right? So we have some drones in construction. Uh, and yeah, basically from left to right here, the drones go from pretty incomplete. So this one only has two wings, for instance, and yeah, no camera, uh, to almost complete, four wings and still no camera, to complete. So now it has four wings, a camera, and the Concorp label on it. So now it's ready to ship out. So this guy is ready to ship out. That's why he's closest to the center, because it's going to move down this line over here and then drop it down and then it can fly away. At least that's the lure we're going for here. This is a drone under repair right here. Obviously just one wing and yeah, nothing on the bottom. And then we have a hardened drone right here that's just about ready to go. Uh, all it needs is the Concorp label on it and it's good to go. Uh, so that's that. Um, yeah, we also have a Area 77 drone over here. So... Yeah, this is an Area 77 drone. You can see it even has the dispensers in here. And this is actually an operational drone uh, in terms of can it, you know, drop TNT and can it drop a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so if I actually, like, put in, let's just say we put in some stone here, right? Like this. And let's get a little bit out of here. Put some in there. And then we close this up. Sweet. So... If I were to, let's say, let's say I press this button or hit this button with a, with an arrow or something, check it out. There we go. And that will just continue to output whatever is in the dispensers continuously until somebody stops it. So yeah, this is actually a a working replica of the drones at Area 77. Uh, so let's just, real quickly here, come on in here, there we go. Just reset this, bada bing, there we go. And then we'll just do this, and this, and that one. Perfect, cool. So yeah, it's actually a pretty accurate representation of the, uh, the drones at Area 77. So this is sort of the main portion of it. Uh, with the uh, dispensers and everything that drop the TNT on dock. And then we have one of the large wings of that same drone. So obviously these are going to be joined at some point, And then there'll be an... This will then... Hold, the whole thing will then move over. And then another wing will be attached on this side that has yet to be built. So that's the idea there. Uh, this central portion, we added some furnaces and stuff. Because this is meant to be like the final check. To make sure that the drones are ready to go before they roll out. So that's what this is all supposed to be right here. Uh, and then, of course, we have some materials just laying around. You know, we got some redstone, we got some Vex Magic, and we got some anvils as well, uh, as well as this uh, yellow concrete powder to sort of make sure that people, like like villagers and, and Concord workers are all warned that, you know, you don't want to stand too close to the shelves because this is going to be elevating stuff up and down uh, like it is with this uh, these pistons here. So... Yeah, we tried to put in as many details as possible. Oh, yeah, we also have this. This is a conveyor belt. So let's say we needed, like, a jungle trapdoor. All we got to do, hit this button. There we go. We can now take the jungle trapdoor and use it in one of our drones. If we needed that iron trapdoor, just hit the button again. And then once more. And there we go. We can now take out this iron trapdoor and use it in whatever drone we need it for. And then same thing over here. This is also another um, another conveyor belt. So yeah, this has more of the materials for the bigger drones rather than the smaller drones. But yeah, works exactly the same. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So 
yeah, I'm really digging this whole area. Some cool little functionality here and there. And, uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much it for the drone factory. So, yeah, pretty nice little area here. I think we did pretty well with this. And uh, hopefully you guys like it as well. So, that is the drone factory complete. Just leave the area here and see what it looks like at night. Very nice. Yeah, that's looking sweet. That's looking great. Okay, I'm happy. All right, guys. So one other thing I want to do today is because we edited the huge drone hangar over here in today's episode, we want to update the map. So we're going to just do that right now. So I'm going to get out this map and maybe we're close enough. Oh, not quite. We're just on the edge. So if I walk this way, this should update the entire thing. There we go. Sweet. Okay, there's that part of it. And we make our way back over here, put that down. Should also get a second half here. And we should just be able to walk in this direction and get that updated. There we go. Very good. Okay, so let's make our way back here. See if we can put this down there. And yeah, there we have it. So there is our drone hangar, ladies and gentlemen. So looking pretty nice right there. And yeah, it takes up a huge, <laughs> huge amount of space on the opposite side of uh, the lake here from where we are currently at, which is right there. So yeah, with that, guys, I think I'm going to have to call that an episode for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please do leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, guys, thank you once again for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.